Surely we did hear it from Rakesh Sharma, but let's also bring on board Ashwin Patel, uh, research analyst at uh, LKP. Ashwin, uh, good morning. Thank you so much for joining in with us. Uh, what are you feeling, your first uh, view that you have in terms of Bajaj Auto CNG? This is the first time ever in the world that we're seeing a CNG bike coming in. How are you, uh, you know, judging it? Do you think there will be a good traction that we could see for this possibility? Hi, good morning. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish, uh, you know, hearty congratulations to Bajaj Auto for bringing the first ever CNG bike in the world. And that has, that will be coming with a big bang, I guess, because, uh, you know, the demand uh, uh, will definitely there because as Rakesh sir said that, uh, you know, the addressable market is about 70% of the total uh, sales, which happen in a particular month. So uh, uh, definitely because, uh, you know, we uh, as uh, an Indian is definitely quite price sensitive to each and everything that they buy. And this uh, CNG bike will be providing them with a lot of uh, cost efficiency, fuel efficiency and uh, something new for them to, uh, you know, use as such on the Indian roads. Uh, so even the pricing is not that high as compared to uh, um, a, a, a IC, ICE bike. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, on the mileage front, uh, they are all, almost as good as uh, the EVs. Then uh, for the, the the pricing is also quite comfortable. So I think that uh, it is going to get uh, a very good response uh, from the Indian consumer. Right. So you're expecting a good response from the Indian consumer. Like you were saying also in terms of mileage when I was reading it, it's pretty much similar to that of EV. But do you think that, you know, people would actually, uh, given price sensitivity, there's a possibility that, you know, an EV buyer would actually shift to a, a CNG? Is that a possibility? Or maybe people who are sticking to EV would be that in their market? Uh, I think that is quite a good possibility that, you know, uh, people may shift to looking at the EV pricing. I think uh, there'll be a slight dent uh, to the EV uh, buying. Uh, but uh, as far as the CNG and the petrol, uh, you know, comparison happens, I think uh, uh, definitely I think, uh, you know, people may shift to uh, CNG from petrol as well as from EVs. So EV buying will be facing, a uh, you know, a bigger dent than uh, the the. Uh, than the petrol would see. But uh, I think uh, CNG, CNG is a very good proposition uh, because, uh, see, because uh, on the three-wheeler uh, side also, Bajaj has, you know, is the market leader on the CV, uh, the, on the uh, CNG side about, uh, you know, they, uh, they are like hands down, there's no competition for them in that particular space that also consumer knows. So given that historical uh, uh, benefit that the company is having, the consumer will be having a definitely uh, bigger confidence uh, in them looking at their uh, new CNG bike. And for on all fronts, uh, I think a CNG bike will be better as compared to EV or, uh, you know, it is at uh, par with the petrol, but uh, looking at the, co uh, the cost efficiency, I think that consumers, there'll be some part of the consumers which may go for uh, CNG rather than petrol. I just wanted to understand from your point of view, Ashwin, what this could potentially mean for some of the other players, the two-wheeler players, given that this is going to be in the affordable segment as categorically stated by the management. Would it be a worry of eating into market share for some of the existing players? See, already Bajaj, uh, you know, is amassing a strong market share in the 125, the executive segment. Uh, their market share is about 30, 30, 30 odd percent, 30 to 40 percent kind of market share they are having in that particular segment. And this particular bike will be again in the in the same segment. And uh, uh, I think Bajaj will uh, definitely sort of uh, will they will be having a first mover advantage because I think the other players also would follow suit uh, going forward. So, uh, but um, having the first mover advantage, definitely Bajaj will be able to somewhat eat up the market share of the other players in that segment. So with CNG, that is an additional, uh, you know, feather in their cap. Uh, so I think that uh, Bajaj will be giving us a tough competition to its uh, other, uh, uh, you know, uh, rivals in that uh, particular segment. You know, uh, what I also want to understand is in terms of, uh, Ashwin, the infrastructure challenges. While open, uh, okay, you know, it may not be much of a challenge, but what about the semi-urban areas, the rural side, right? And you do see a lot of bike sales that come in there. So, is that a concern in front of CNG infrastructure challenge that is possibly there? See, initial uh, uh, hurdles are always there for anything that uh, comes due to the market. So I think, uh, you know, in the in the urban uh, uh, tier one, tier two cities, I don't think it will be an issue that much. 
डेफिनेटली इन द मेट्रोज एंड द बिगर सिटीज सी एन जी इज वाइडली अवेलेबल सो दैट मे नॉट बी एन इश्यू बट यू नो सी एन जी अवेलेबिलिटी कैन हैपन मे बी लाइक अबाउट टू टू थ्री इयर्स डाउन द लाइन इट विल बी अवेलेबल थ्रू आउट यू नो ऑन पैन इंडिया बेसिस इवन इन द रूरल मार्केट दैट वुड बी नॉट एन इश्यू बट इनिशियली डेफिनेटली द टीथिंग इश्यूज आर देर फॉर वॉट एवर यू नो न्यू कम्स टू द मार्केट so uh, i think initially there will be some sort of issues in the uh, uh, rural markets or the semi urban ones but uh, going forward i think that uh, should get sorted out because the infrastructure issue is there for evs also but that will be you know uh, uh, even a higher issue as compared to uh, cng so i think uh, you know where the petrol uh, uh, is available and where wherever petrol and diesel is available i think adding a cng line would uh, you know not take much of time and not not take much of effort but yes 2 to 3 years down the line it will be available everywhere Ashwin, you know, thank you so much for joining in with us uh, and uh, you know talking to us about Bajaj Auto's uh, launch that will be happening today, and we'll be watching out for those visuals. Uh, I believe the event is going to be starting at 1 p.m., so all eyes are going to be on how this first CNG bike is actually going to be looking. As of now, stock is managing to hold on to seven tenth of a percent of uh, gain in trade today. Interesting that how this will play out. But let's move on and. Uh, you